lounging, son. Welcome back to the Comic Lounge. My name is Ryan, and today I'm going to be talking about I'm going to talk about Supergirl number one by Peter David, Gary Frank, Cam Smith, all the way back from 1996. This is a brand new take on the Supergirl mythos, and it's something that I've been wanting to read for years. I've read bits and pieces of the later issues, but never got to check out the beginning of this run. And I'm really glad I did because the book's awesome. Before I get into it, I want to remind you, everybody, if you're not already subscribed to the channel, please hit that subscribe button and check out some of the dope content on the channel, whether it's interviews, reviews of single issues, hardcovers, artist editions, all that stuff is on the channel. Bunch of cool playlists. So go check that out. Hit the subscribe button. And now let's talk this awesome debut issue of the Peter David, what's referred to as the Peter David run of... Supergirl, but really Gary Frank is like such a standout in this. You know, he's coming off of I believe he was on Hulk prior to this, of as his you know regular series he was on. This opens up in a very, very dark way, right? Like we're seeing this blood running down the drain, and we see that this girl is all cut up, bleeding, bruised, just straight battered asking for God to help, you know, how did, you know, the pain and, you know, how did she, how did she get into this situation? So she comes out and she's greeted by one of her friends and, you know, she's just, you know, I can't believe you're alive. Everybody's saying you were dead and I can't believe you're standing there and you don't have a mark on you. And this is where we get the impetus of like, what the hell is going on? This girl who we just saw moments ago is just completely broken is completely healed now and she has no idea how she got into this situation and she looks in, her, in the mirror she's like i could have sworn my eyes are brown but they're blue now and there's this like weird shit clogging the drain and has no idea we have no idea what it is or how it got there and i think prior to this the supergirl that we all knew was like i feel like she was like made of like this clay almost not clay but she was she wasn't human she wasn't kryptonian and i think it was like that whole matrix era of of supergirl something i'm not like super well versed in something i probably should uh you know check out but you know she talks about how like you know she was kidnapped things of satanism were were involved so this is a very like again very different take and we're seeing that now we're getting the backstory on linda and there's this dude Buzz who's who, who plays a reoccurring um, role throughout this book, and basically almost part of like a, a this like cult. And they take Linda, their kidnapper, and part of this you know like this guy like at the anarchist symbol over him, just very demonic looking. And then she says like this very like I'm empty. I needed to learn. I don't. And she's like I don't even know what I'm talking about. So just very confused of, you know, how we got here. We you know, get a little backstory. You know, she's talking with her parents. Obviously, they, they have a very stressed relationship. Way she's about to get, like, dad looks like she's about to hit her. And she runs out. She's like, you know what? You both hate me, and you wish I would I was never born. And you can see, like, there's a pain in his eyes, right? And, like, so obviously she was troubled. She... Uh, was seeking solace and definitely the wrong people and that's how she hooked up with this dude buzz and as she's running we see holy shit she's got super speed and this guy about to jump commit suicide and linda saves her and this guy's like who did that was it the flash no he thinks it was an angel and she even you know we get this like inner dialogue of like you know i've done this a hundred times i save him i save him i've saved a life and the emptiness ever so slightly ebbs. And basically what takes place is she is merged with Supergirl. So Linda Danvers, who, you know, was on the brink of death, merges with this, you know, the Supergirl. Um, she merges with Supergirl. We see that there's this, new, this, this news report, Supergirl's fear dead. She was missing. Linda was missing. Everybody thinks she was dead. Everybody thinks Supergirl's dead. So it's kind of funny how now the two of them, after both have been, both have had this report of being missing and and dead, are now kind of becoming one. And we, we meet Buzz back again, right? 
saying, I don't want your promises, I want blood. So there's this like d- demonic entity behind, right? R- referred to as Lord Shocket. And as she's sitting with this reporter, she starts to, f- some of the, you know, some of the blanks are being filled in um, as she's starting to discover what happened. He mentioned Supergirl and her. And then we see that Supergirl had this kind of, re- you know, somewhat of a friendship with Linda, talking to her parents. And, you know, she's just there to help. Even though this the guy is like, he's like, what are you, an alien, a clone, some shape-changing, soulless blob of protoplasm? That's what it is, the protoplasm. That's right. Um, and, you know, then he feels guilty. He's like, he reaches out to Supergirl, please save our daughter. And this is where Supergirl and Linda basically get merged. She comes over to this, like, ritual that's being taken place. Very satanic. As this, like, demon is about to come through this portal we see as she's hovering over linda's taken up in flames and this is where the merging happens and it's pretty pretty crazy i know she goes through this like angelic phase where she's like she's got like flaming wings that come out of her eventually you know supergirl like eventually has and and you know linda like even like as she's dying you know she's screwed up everything it's not fair and she's not ready to die she wants she wants to live and now Supergirl's getting all these memories, all the people she's known and loved flowing through her mind. And then this, we see the protoplasm stuff, like the merging of their two souls. And then this is where we see that, like, not only is Linda merged with Supergirl, but now she can transform. And uh, it's just pretty, pretty wild, pretty crazy take on the uh, Girl of Steel. And if you haven't checked out this this run, I highly recommend it. I'll be honest with you, the impetus, the kind of the thing that pushed me over the edge, you know, Cartoonist KFIP had been mentioning this, well, not just Cartoonist KFIP, on the Cartoonist KFIP channel, Ed Piscor had been mentioning this for the longest time, how he had a subscription to this. You know, I think it was right around the time he was subscribing to, I believe is when John Byrne was on Wonder Woman, could be mistaken that, but... You know, he had mentioned this so many times that I just, I finally was like, you know what, I'm going to do it. Bought the first eight issues, was fantastic. Can't recommend it enough. So go hit, go pick this up, back issue bin, online, wherever you can. Uh, it's worth every single penny. Fun story. And it only gets better from the next few issues. I didn't want to show everything off, but I highly recommend picking up a little chunk of this because it's a blast. And make sure you... Like, follow, subscribe, hit that bell icon to be notified every time a new vid drops. And on that note, I'm out.